Evernote is a free online note-taking and archiving software that is a great tool for students to take notes. The first step is to go to evernote.com and create an account. So you click create an account in the top right hand corner of the screen and you'll fill in your information. Once you've created your account, you can go to the web sign in and sign into Evernote. Once you've signed into Evernote, you'll be taken to a page which shows all your notes. Since I've used Evernote before, all my notes are listed in order of when I, I took them. However, if you're new to Evernote, this will all be blank. On the left hand side, you're going to see all of your notebooks, which are really just file folders for storing and organizing all your notes. To create a new notebook, you click on the arrow next to notebook and click new notebook. Give it a name and click save and you now have a new notebook in the side panel. If we click on that, we'll see it's empty. So now we want to create a note. So to create a new note, you simply click on the new note button at the top of the screen. And you'll see it looks similar to a word processing application. So you can just start typing your note. You can give it a title. We'll just call this one new note. You can select which notebook it's going to go in. If you auto accidentally click the wrong notebook, for example, um, you can link it to a website. For example, if your teacher is referring to a, web a website in class, it's a great idea to link to that website so you can quickly access it later. We'll just link this one to Algonquin College. And you can also see this basic formatting tools. You can attach a file to the document or even copy and paste pictures. So now that we've created our note, we'll click done and our note has been created. And if we go into our note, you'll see the web address is there and you can click on it right from your note and it's going to go straight to the website you linked from. And this note will be accessible by accessing evernote.com on any of your other computers or using the Evernote app for your tablet or smartphone. So thanks for watching and hope this helps.